Fucking people can't do nothing. You fucking white fish ball, get the fuck out of here, you bitch. That bitch is broke with two more other kids. That bitch got none. She don't have no billing. He's got problems. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking pussies. Fucking bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my property, you pussies. Can't trust him because he's so addicted to that camera phone and so addicted to being on social media. You never know what he's going to say about you next. This bitch here fuck, fucking here from the hotel. She don't have none. Fuck out of here. I love you, Poppy. I love you. Go at them bitch-ass police. Get the fuck out of here. Bitch-ass little cop. Look at the little cop. You wish you could take me, you bitch-ass nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah, get in the back of the police car, fishbowl. And you ain't leaving with shit, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, you bum ass hoe. You gotta stay away. I'm sorry to say it. Antonio Brown has been given chance after chance after chance. And it appears finally the game has waded away from an all-time great receiver. In an Instagram live stream, AB used vulgar language yelling at Hollywood, Florida police officers, his ex, and his kids. The police were responding to a domestic disturbance at Brown's home. He's addicted to the limelight. Streaming Mike Tomlin's post-game speech with his team after a hard-fought win without the coach or Steeler's consent. He's showing his true, his true colors of not being a good teammate, and I, and whether this is controversial or not, I really don't care, and now finally showing y'all that he's just not a good human. Ryan Clark, one of the most well-respected former players and NFL analysts who played with Brown in Pittsburgh, called out the wide receiver's antics. Brown threatened Clark on social media. He threatened ESPN reporter Jesse Washington in a deleted tweet, alluding to Brown punching Washington in the jaw. This after Brown confronted Steelers reporter Ed Bichette in person. Antonio Brown is accused of sexually assaulting his former fitness trainer. Brittany Taylor filed a civil suit against AB alleging he sexually assaulted her on three occasions in 2017 and 18. The third incident, she claims, Brown raped her. He forcibly exposed himself and kissed Taylor without consent. He masturbated in front of her without her knowledge and ejaculated on her back, which Brown admitted to in texts obtained by Fox Sports. Following his pattern of threatening those who oppose him, Brown told his cronies, put together in a text group, to dig into the background of a painter who formerly worked for AB. The anonymous artist was in a kneeling position while painting and turned to find Brown behind her, naked, holding a small hand towel over his genitals. The artist said AB had sex with another woman in front of her while she worked. In the group, Brown added a picture of the artist and her kids. Previously, Brown was accused of not paying proper child support, failing to send his son Antonio Jr. to private school, and calling his son that boy. Brown called his ex various names, including make your own son. I got three more boys here. The child support charge, for the record, was disputed by Brown. His trainer, Bo Smith, even called it quits, setting a toxic work environment with Brown. I don't want to say nothing bad, but he's got character issues. He's an amazing football player, an amazing athlete. As far as character, he fooled me. All right, so everybody's hitting me up saying, you're not AB Chef anymore, you're not AB Chef. It's true. Um, him and I parted ways. Brown's former chef, Nico, went on the record saying, I thought he was my friend, and that's not the case, I guess. Even if the National Football League may have ended their relationship with Antonio Brown, there is still potential to stay in the spotlight. Brown is training for a potential boxing match with YouTuber Logan Paul. For his part, Paul has tweeted, Antonio Brown needs this fight now more than ever, and he's not wrong. Brown has also begun his career in music. If Bad Baby is any evidence, the music industry has shown their continued interest in big names with huge followings. As The Undefeated writes, it should be no surprise that Brown has injected himself with a social media serum, creating an alternate reality in which he is constantly lied about, doubted, disrespected, and rejected. Antonio Brown has had a hard life. He was homeless in Florida, given zero major D1 offers, and made a name for himself at Central Michigan, then the Pittsburgh Steelers. While the ascension is something to behold, the conduct and behavior of a man who has seen the mountaintop is undoubtedly facing the end.